Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Beefing up security, Carnival Cruise Line has made a change to their website, making passengers enter more details to access their booking. Previously, guests only had to put in their last name and booking number after logging in to access their reservation. This new system rolled out over the weekend now makes guests enter their sale date, ship, date of birth, booking number, and last name. This update comes on the heels of a Carnival passenger having their cruise canceled after someone logged into their account following the passenger posting their information on social media. Even with Carnival's new state-of-the-art cybersecurity measures, it's still never a good idea to post personal information online. And following Venice's lead to increase cruise taxes, Barcelona has entered the ring. The city now plans to increase its cruise tax for passengers, which currently sits at €7 Euro per passenger per day. Mayor Colaboni announced this measure, although the new tax has not been announced yet. It also still needs approval from the government. Anti-tourism protests have been significant recently in Barcelona with recent demonstrations spraying tourists with water. Despite the mayor saying that the city is overwhelmed by cruisers, the Cruise Line Association noted that only 4% of Barcelona's total tourists come from cruise ships. And it's time to check in with that world cruise ship that has been delayed well over two months now and five times. Villa V residence ship, the MS Odyssey, is still sitting at a Belfast dry dock now two months past its initial launch date. The 31-year-old ship has been holding on rudder parts and inspections. Now management said it has been approved. The ship's new departure date is July 30th. Villa V Odyssey was built in 1993 and has been given a $12 million refit. Its residences, many having already sold all their belongings, have been living out of their suitcases since May, waiting to board the ship. Good luck to you. And cruise line stocks were mixed on Monday. Carnival Corporation down slightly, 18.42. Royal Caribbean up slightly, 168.53. Norwegian up a half, 19.73. And Viking down 2%, 36.33. If you have a lead on a story, drop us a line. Tips at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Tuesday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.